on into the River City Current. Actually, we'll have a great time starting from right now. <laughs> Let's not put off that great time. Let's start it. Well, the first topic is kind of not a lot of fun. <laughs> there, was, there was an article in the Huffington Post, and it was about the stigma of being alone. So eating alone, you know, just being by yourself. And people, when you see somebody alone, you kind of pity that person. Mm -hmm. But the article was basically saying you shouldn't. Some people just like alone time. Now, I know about you guys, but when I used to travel, I was always alone when I had to eat. And it was kind of weird. Like, you'd walk in, they're like, mm -hmm. party of one, and you're like... Yeah, party. <laughs> just me. <laughs> or people keep asking you, is anybody going to be joining you? Is anybody going to I'm like, no, I said it's just me. But mm -hmm. there is that like stigma, you know? I feel like somebody like you having four kids, though, you would enjoy it. Oh, yeah, I don't mind it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I get to twist it. Yeah. I get to eat. Doesn't it seem like at lunchtime it doesn't seem as weird, but if it's dinner time and you go in. I agree. Eat. It's yeah. not weird. We're only children. We've gotten used to playing by ourselves when no, nobody was around. I don't, I don't like to be. I don't like to be alone. I don't like oh, to be really? alone. Yeah. But my husband Chad, he loves eating lunch by himself. Really? I'll be like, so what did you do for lunch today? Oh, me, myself, and I, we ate it Sakura, and I'm like, oh wow, oh, fancy. Really? <laughs> Does it sound, he, he enjoys it. Would he go up to one of those tables where they cook and sit with a bunch of other people, like maybe just latch I don't on? Know if he does that? I think he just sits at the bar or his right. own table. But I got a buddy who decided on a whim. He's like, I just want to go to New Zealand. I'm like, really? Who are you going with? Nobody. You're going to okay. New Zealand. So he went to New Zealand That's for big. about 10 days all by himself. <laughs> that is big, big, We also, big. we have some viewer comments that weighed in on this also. So here's one that it says, uh, I like to eat alone, go to the movies alone, sit alone on my couch, <laughs> run alone. It's possible I have a social disorder. <laughs> or a lot of yeah, cats. Yeah, it, it, it is it's possible. A lot of cats. Oh, that's yeah. so funny. And, and Bonnie said, once in a while, you just need to do movie and dinner by yourself. Love doing this. I guess it, it's really a treat for some. Uh, Stuart says, this is our executive. <laughs> Producer, I used to eat dinner and go to the movies by myself all the time. It's kind of liberating, actually. Mm -hmm. All right, without can see that without all those annoying coworkers. Hey, yeah. <laughs> it is liberating, I think sometimes. But I guess you know the whole thing about this is the social perception. Mm -hmm. Even though for the individual it's fine, but when you look at somebody that's all by themselves, you're kind of like, <laughs> what's Pity your story? Them. They're enjoying themselves unless they're looking kind of crying. Then yeah. well, one thing is for sure, if you're out by yourself, unless you really do have a social disorder, like Denny said, uh, you will not get in an argument with your dinner mate. Now, if you are <laughs> arguing with your spouse, it could be that you're strengthening your relationship. A, a study now says that if you fight correctly you're actually doing a service for your relationship instead of a disservice. Hmm. So, do you fight fair, Rance? The operative <laughs> turn is fight correctly, and no, I try to avoid fights because, again, being an only child, I didn't learn how to argue correctly. I guess that's a benefit from having a brother and sister, and so I've had a lot of lessons to learn. Uh -huh. Lots of lessons. Still learning. I wouldn't want to go up against Liz. She has that friendly, like, be careful, though. Oh, yeah, like, you better watch out. No, I... I, I don't like to fight, so I feel like typically I either give in or, unless it's something I'm really passionate about. Which is exactly what I mean. Like, if you were, you know what I mean? I think you would save it up for something that yeah, you're really like a, passionate a, about. A tipping point. So basically, <laughs> don't make me really mad. She could snap at any minute. you yeah. got to watch this one. I do oh, think yeah. it's like therapeutic, though, because you kind of just get yeah. everything out. And then otherwise, it, it, it's in you. It's all pinned up, and then it could get worse. So. Well, the technique is called waving the flag of friendliness. When you get in an argument, as soon as you see that little point, you're supposed to do something that waves the flag of friendliness. Hmm. Now, how do you find that balance? Because, you know, if you're looking and you're both charged up, you're going over the, t over the edge right. faster than you know it. Well, hopefully somebody softens like the blow a little bit you know out of you know two people fighting so hopefully somebody kind of takes a step back and tries mm -hmm. to calm the other person down or maybe even gives in a little bit so it doesn't go crazy and i think that's what a good relationship would have what, really so. really quick from a guy's perspective we t uh, i shouldn't say we tend to but a lot of times it's like okay i'm done with this fight you win and yeah. that still doesn't and it, no it doesn't because then it's like are you just doing that because you don't want to <laughs> fight because you need to hear about what really made us mad in the first place. Yeah. And then, do you not true, understand? Yeah. Or are you just trying to stop? Right. Well, yeah, we could go on and on. Instagram oh, yeah. is fighting the good fight when it comes to cyberbullying. They actually, uh, it's Bystander Revolution. They partnered up with uh, Tarte, or just Tarte Cosmetics. 
and uh, it's this campaign that's going on with these images, and we have some right here, where basically it's a fist with a kiss on it, and it's being spread all over because the epidemic, really, of cyberbullying is traveling all over, and sure. especially with teens. Um, according to a recent study by cy Cyberbullying Research, 34% of middle school students surveyed have experienced cyberbullying. And when you post that, you're supposed to do hashtag kiss and make up. Right. So it's just really cool to see all of the different. I think there are a lot of internet stars that are doing them right now, which means, you know, my, my kids will know who they are. I don't necessarily, but I think it, this could potentially spread like the ice bucket, mm -hmm. challenge, yeah. ice bucket challenge. Yeah. Did you see this with your kids? Because they're at that Cyber age. Bully? Yeah. Uh, not personally, but I believe that it is every bit as serious as people are making it out right. to me. Because yeah. I think that. What happens on the internet hits so hard to these kids, it's unbelievable. We're actually going to talk a little bit about that with an author next week, so we'll really delve into that. Because it can get kind of serious, but I like the fact that they're doing something. Right. You know, it's nice when the cool kids, you know, are saying something. They're saying, like, you know, they're probably not victims of bullying, a lot of them. But then there were a few I saw on there that, that were, that mm -hmm. said they right. were. And, and that's so, what's nice, too. Social media can be a positive, powerful tool because these are being spread all over the place. So right. it, it is a good outlet as well to do this and stop it. Mm -hmm. It is important, though, if you're on your phone that you look up once in a while. There are some <laughs> injuries happening. And it, it, texting is sending more and more people to the emergency room. Uh, Consumer Product Safety Commission is reporting right now the emergency room visits by pedestrians who were texting 124% raise in the amount and, and up even more than that from back in 2006. Now, obviously, much before that, I don't know that you could text, but I mean, people are, what are they doing? Are they falling in holes? What's happening here? <laughs> Haven't you seen the videos, uh, the viral videos, people walking into uh, the water fountains at uh, the mall? People walking into traffic. I mean, we're all guilty of you're around the house, you walk into a wall in your house, and then you <laughs> drop your phone and smash it, and then you're like, all right, well, I guess I'm not texting you. Oh, <laughs> I've seen goodness. so many people, especially out around the beach, people texting while walking across the crosswalk. Yeah. And I know I myself have maybe stumbled a couple times when walking with my cell phone, so I would never do it when crossing traffic. Oh, right. yeah. You know, but that would you be a. Be would I what? Can you walk to gum at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be an interesting way to meet people on the beach, so you're just like, oh, I didn't see you there. I was walking and texting. <laughs> Stored in the background saying, can you walk and chew gum at the and same I time? Well, I and and Elizabeth, though, yeah. Let me remind you Whoa. at the same time. Let me remind you that Stuart's the one who earlier said he likes to eat alone. Oh, yeah, there you go. And we know why. We think, we think he might be taking the lunch alone today. <laughs> All mean. right. Okay, so let's, let's give you a prize to keep you happy right now. We have a family four-pack of tickets to the Jacksonville Auto Show. That opens up today at the Prime Osborne. And if you are the 10th person to email, I want those tickets now, you can win at RCL Contest at wjxt.com and while you are online let us know about eating alone and anything else we were talking about we want your opinion always you know we might use your comments on the air river city live tv stick around we'll be back